Hello. In this video, I will show how to set up web project in Spring Suite. We will create a web project with template engine TimeLeaf. We will use Spring Tool Suite. It is Eclipse based environment. Now, from file new project, Spring Starter project, and then change name as you want. Then you can change package names or other fields as you wish. Next, here we will choose project dependencies. First, we will choose web and then from template engines, time leaf. Here you can see selected next and it is the address where Spring will install all related libraries so we will not change anything it is just information first need to install all that files you can see progress from here it takes a short time and it finished now here in package explorer you can see structure of project java files resources files and pom xml first check pom xml it is basic pom xml files for mavin and here the most important part that dependency for web and for time leave and rests for unit test and Marvin plugin. We will not change anything here. And other file is the main class, main application class, where application is start running, the Spring Boot application annotation. And also we will not change anything here. We will leave it same. Now let's create an HTML files under templates it is the main default folder for time leave so we will add file to here and also the default extension is HTML for time leave we will put index HTML under, under templates And then we will create a controller file to listen that request. As a best practice, we will create a different package from example demo dot controller. We will put controller file under here. And now a Java class. name will be index controller first we will, we will define that class as controller so we will use controller annotation and import related library to define controller and then we will define a function to listen request and it will return the view view is index html so we'll just give the name without extension as index and now we will define get request so we will use get mapping annotation in spring and as parameter we will define the path name and also it will be again index slash index now import related library for get mapping and also we will give 
model object to use for view now save all and for now it finished we will run application right click run as spring boot app and you can see from the logs it started successfully default application service tomcat and the default port is 8080 now we will go to browser right localhost 8080 slash index it is our web name and as you can see it is working now let's add more files for example as css file all css javascript and similar static files default pet is static under resources at the css file give a name for example site css now just put anything as an example we will add a class name header header class we will use in our index file and properties will be font size give any value and we will use that class in our index file and we will define the path just use a div element as class header now stop and run again now check browser and refresh as you can see the word hello font size is changed See you next videos.